Copan, Copan, Copan. The quickest Akira assembly I've ever done. Oh, found a cassette. Before. Yes, we made a mistake. And now it is looking like this. I'm so happy. I have a new TV stand. Oh, yeah. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to This Girl's Insights. On this channel, you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. Now today, I am back here with another IKEA assembly vlog, video, instructional experience, whatever you choose to call it, y'all. I am very excited about this. I don't know where this excitement is coming from. <laughs> Why do I get so excited about assembly? So I don't think I'm excited about assembly videos. I think I get excited about the end result and having a piece of furniture that I've been shopping for for ages. Because I never just buy something. It's always it always takes me ages to shop for stuff. I'm just saying. By the way, if you haven't seen any of my other IKEA assembly videos, there will be an I somewhere. I feel like I have been on YouTube long enough to know where the I is, but I don't. So just scan, scan your screen. Actually, no, keep watching this video and then watch it later on. I don't know, y'all. There's an eye somewhere. I don't know why YouTube has the eye, but that's how it is. Oh, what was I saying? I think I was saying, uh, yo, I don't know what I was saying. Yo, yo, follow me on Instagram because then I don't have to repeat the story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at this girl's insight. Follow me on there. If you want to see just the home decor stuff, that's home decor by Tommy Lola. So follow me on there as well. Follow me in both places. Oh. But I said all that to say, I don't remember what I was saying. Okay, so I was saying IKEA assembly video. I don't know what I am assembling yet. So I was literally just on Instagram. So yo, I'm in the moment right now. So I was just on Instagram and I was talking about how I've had a bunch of IKEA deliveries recently. Um, Cause I, I, I have been in IKEA, I've been living there. I, even now I'm tired of IKEA. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I've had a bunch of IKEA deliveries recently and I just need to start assembling it. So y'all, I, th I think I'm gonna start with the TV stand. <laughs> I don't know why it's a speech marks y'all well it's because it's not a tv stand i'm gonna i bought something else that i'm gonna be using as a tv stand um you all have seen the title i i bought the ikea copang i don't know how you say it it's just technically it's a dresser because yo getting a tv stand has been such a journey for me because i, I like i have been shopping for this literally since like maybe not literally but literally for what feels like months and i haven't seen anything i like because i didn't want a traditional tv stand i wanted something with storage i didn't want something that was so low and actually in the end i decided to go for a dresser and i was trying to i decided on the ikea copang but then there was also another option i liked from amazon um and in the end i decided to go for the copang for various reasons y'all probably don't care y'all probably just want to see the assembly but basically one second y'all i'm getting a phone call oh it might be my amazon fresh order one second sorry oh i had an amazon fresh order that was on its way um and in my mind i knew it was soon but uh, anyways the guy's outside so i need to quickly take this order in and then we'll get back to the vlog real soon i hear assembly new furniture hiya oh is this everything thank you Oh, is that his alarm? I'm trying to remember what I was saying, y'all. But yeah, y'all. Um, Amazon Fresh Order. I actually ordered this. I ordered this. When did I order this? At 3 a.m., 2 a.m. today. And it's here already. If y'all haven't seen those vlogs, I'll also leave it. Y'all, I'm promising a lot of eyes here. <laughs> Just check out my channel. There are loads of videos on my channel. If you've not gone, if you're subscribed or you're new to this channel and you've not watched like the older videos, um, check them out. Now I need to uh, I need to quickly organize this. Now the plan was I actually wanted to chop up and deal with all the veg um, straight away but now I started the vlog I feel like I don't know what to do Y'all, I kind of just want to get started with the DIY assembly so for now I'm just dealing with the frozen stuff in my Amazon fresh delivery I will deal with like the fruit and veg and like all the other covered stuff later on but now I'm just wiping down the stuff that needs to go in the fridge and the freezer and then we can jump on and do on the rest of my ikea assembly this space is always messy like it's just there's always packages here and like using this as a tv stand is just not the life like i am not loving the look i'm really excited to just have this space look more humane if i can find a picture of what it looks like to be fair i was gonna say i'll try and find a picture of what it looks like without the packages but there's always packages here which is why i need to undo i need to do all of this i need to kind of assemble this th these bits of furniture because I need to order more furniture and I don't know how I make all the furniture fit in this flat because this flat is not that big you all have seen the flat tour if you haven't there'll be there'll be an eye somewhere but the flat is literally not that big so I don't know how I managed to 
like how I managed to fit all these pieces of furniture in here. Um, I guess the good news is I think after the next furniture batch I buy, which is stuff for the bedroom, I think I will then be done. And it's stuff like book stands and stuff. So once I'm done with furniture, like we can do like decor and stuff because I've been very obsessed with how bare my walls are. Like it's all just white space and I kind of want to get some plants and decor and color. Yeah, this is a whole conversation. I need to figure out where to put all this stuff so I have space. Okay, y'all, so this is the before. Um, hopefully by the end of this vlog, this will look very different. This is the Ikea coat pan. It comes in two boxes. So like with every Ikea like assembly thing, there's always box one. And then there's box two over there as well. Where is my watch? Because I don't even know what the time is. Basically, I, I want to try and time myself as usual. I want to try and see if I can do this in two hours. Because it's a smaller piece of furniture. But the first things first is after I find my watch. As is usual with my routine, I'm going to take everything out of the box. Um and organize all my tools so it's nice and ready. So let's do that first. Um, but actually, let me grab my watch because all of these steps need to be counted. Where's my Fitbit? Oh, it's charging. Is it not, is it off? Does the Fitbit go off? I thought it was charging all this time. Okay, that's weird. The screen has just come on. I don't know what that was, um, but I haven't worn it all day. So there are no steps on there. Take everything out of the box. So this is box one. I don't know how to return something that's already assembled, but I do try to be careful just in case there's an issue and i need to return it i've just realized after all of this i am gonna have to like cut and pack up all of these cardboard boxes i am always cutting up boxes literally every other vlog <laughs> is me cutting up boxes Instruction manual, but then two instruction manuals. It's separate instructions for the frame and then another set of instructions for the drawer doors. And I'm not sure if I already said this and you already know this if you've seen any of my other like DIY videos or assembly videos but basically I like to make sure I literally count every single thing I have every single screw I need everything I need and it's arranged and ready for me so I can just pick it up as I assemble as opposed to looking for different bits in the instructions as I go along um let's see so just gonna check I have all the stuff I should so three of these a lot of wooden dowels as you can see okay y'all so these are the contents of box one so box one is basically made up of the frame of the dresser like just off the initial looks i need to read the instructions properly but i think you basically get the two sides the top and the bottoms um i think there's an extra piece i can't figure out there the legs are in there as well you've got these pulley things for the drawers i don't know what the proper names are and then you've got like all the small like screws you need so wooden dowels and all the things to secure it um and i assume that goes in the legs as well to protect the floor so it's not wood on the floor as well um so that's box one over here is box two and box two is basically the drawers so like most of the things in box two seem to come in like threes so there's like three bits of everything and i think it's just basically the drawer stuff over there you've got all the screws and stuff i'll need to split up so that's what i like to do first because i just like to know before i get started i have everything that i need for the assembly according to the instructions but also it just means that when i go to actually do the assembly everything's laid out and i can just pick things up so it makes following the instructions a bit easier yeah let me quickly review the instructions and i'll start with box one and then we're going to do this so that has taken me so so far arranging everything has taken me 30 minutes y'all so i am 30 i'm 30 minutes into my two hour time frame i'd stick something on the tv well i don't really use my tv for normal tv but i'll stick something from amazon prime something i've seen before so i don't have to think about it you know like you have those movies that you can watch without watching maybe like a hallmark movie or a hallmark mystery actually i'm gonna do a hallmark mystery where's my coffee oh there we go um we're drinking coffee today oh but yeah Apparently, I might need a drill. Oh, this is exciting. Let me find something on Amazon Prime. Oh, Chronicle Mysteries. There's so many like new shows on Amazon Prime, as in Prime TV, that I've been meaning to watch that I haven't actually got around to. Um, I feel like, do I have an Amazon Prime? Is there, an, is there such a thing as an Amazon Prime TV free trial? I don't think there is. I think you get it if you have Amazon Prime. So if you ever, if you've never seen it, if you use my Amazon Prime trials, the links are always in the description box, so you can use that. Um, well, I think I have a trial for Amazon Prime channels. I don't, I'm making that up, y'all. I always be trying to think of free trials. 
Okay, um, I think this is the first in the Chronicle Mysteries, the one where she's a podcaster. Um, okay, so it looks like we're starting with the legs. So you want 12 of these and then 8 wooden dowels, which you will then insert into the four legs over here. Okay, so nice and easy. So there's like an L, can you see the L? I don't know if you're considered on camera, but there's like an L right there, which is for the left side. So there'll be three of these that say L and another three that say R. And basically you wanna just use each one on each side accordingly. So make sure all the L ones are on one side and the R ones are on the other side. So I'm just gonna do this side now. And then you just wanna line it up with those two holes, like that. This will just need to flip around. So these two holes here, you just wanna line up with these holes with them. And with these screws, I find it's easier to attach it to the screwdriver first just to get it in place. I'm just going to tighten the screws for each one. So once you've got these all screwed in, you then need eight of these, four for each side. You want to find the leg with the holes on it. And you basically want to go, ignore the first big hole, and then you're going to screw it into the second small hole. Then ignore the next two, screw it into the fifth hole, then ignore the big hole. And then you're going to also screw it into the two small holes at the bottom here. Just follow the instructions because they are pretty clear. This one with the the rectangle with a bit cut out of the rectangle two circles and then on the side three circles whenever you have a circle here you don't tend to need to put a wooden dowel in here because that's only where the gray screw is going to go um so that's a quick tip as an fyi to reduce thinking time so yeah one side and then we switch to the other side oh i'm coming up on my two hours guys by the way my knees are starting to feel a bit cramped because I'm building this in a pretty... Because I'm trying to build this right in front of the TV where it is. It's a pretty cramped space. And after step 18, we're just going to secure the pieces together. So you should hear that lock as you screw as well. While I'm down here, we're going to do step 19 as well, which is just securing the plastic bits onto the end of the wood. Then for step 20, we're going to flip this the right way around and it should feel like a nice secure frame. Woohoo! I'm going to attach this metal frame into this bit. So you don't want it upwards, if that makes sense. You, don't, you do not want it like this. You want it like this with the hole towards the bottom and the gap facing upwards so you can put your finger in there. So you want to screw it into these two holes over here. Is it lefty loosey, righty tighty? I don't really know. I find, like I find I just do it on instinct now. I never really know what direction I'm going in. In case you didn't know, that is the phrase that people use when they're screwing stuff. So to tighten it, you turn right, righty-tighty. To loosen it, you turn left, lefty-loosey. Am I saying that wrong? I feel like I'm saying that wrong, y'all. Lift the page with me. And now we move on to step 23 in the instruction book. Um, the next step is to secure it to the wall. I am trying to secure it to the wall because I'm not trying to drill holes into the wall because when I move out, I'll have to fill them all back up and that's, I'm just not for that drama. Um, I did that with my last place and I'm not in the mood to do it with this place. So I'm not gonna be securing it to the wall. But I will say, if you have kids, puppies, dogs, things that can knock into it, um, secure it for, your sa for their safety. Now, I'm a grown woman, hopefully I'm not gonna knock into it and have it drop and all that stuff. But secure it into the wall. Um, I'm basically saying, disclaimer, do as I say, not as I do. Seeing as I'm using this as a TV stand, I'm really excited about these holes for wiring. Now, I wasn't planning on putting like stuff like a DVD and all that stuff, I wasn't planning on using that because I don't really use a DVD player. I do have a DVD player, VHS, and my Skybox, but I don't use any of them. I just use my Chromecast. But then I guess I'm just excited about this for wiring. I don't know what I'm going to wire, but I'm excited. Oh, come let us adore. 
Oh, come let us adore you. Okay, y'all, so at the end of box one, you should have this frame. What is slightly worrying is I have two of these left, um, and I definitely needed all of them, so... It means that somewhere there's a hole like this where instead of this there's like a big gap and you can see the screw so I'm just gonna have to have a look for it though that is now gonna take me up to what time did I start so I am now two hours and 40 minutes into it though I don't know why I always time myself and I'm always like oh I'm gonna do this in an hour in two hours and it's never it's always longer especially because I'm filming um but again like it might be quicker for you depending on how often you do this how comfortable you are with it and also, if you're not filming, you can just get on with it as opposed to stopping to talk to you all. And also if you have help, because like while you're doing one step, someone else can be doing another step. But what I would say is, like take your time. Like I like to rush. I don't know why I time myself. But then by the time I get into it, I'm kind of enjoying it so much that I don't care anyway. So take your time, have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, and you know, stick on a podcast, some music, um, a movie, audio book, and just, you know, enjoy yourself. Okay, let me see if I can find these two missing holes. Oh, y'all, I found it. Yay, that is box one done, y'all. And I have the frame. Now, let's see how long. I don't know why my, I just said I wasn't going to do this. But now I'm going to try and do box two in one hour. Ah, this is fun. Actually, I just realized I also have these left. Um, I'm going to assume they're going to be used in the box two. If not, I'll have to figure this out. To take a bit of a break from the assembly stuff, I'm going to clear this space. Like, because I've got a bunch of, like, Amazon packages and just stuff. Where this th where this is going to go. Oh! Oh my days, y'all! You know, I did my kitchen lights. So this is the first box. And you know, I ordered, like, more lights. And I haven't installed them. So I'm going to install these today. I love the kitchen lights, by the way. Love them so, so much. Um, when I'm talking about my kitchen lights, if you've not seen that vlog, there was a vlog where, I, like, it's, like, a super easy install for under cabinet lights and you don't need to do any electrical work and stuff but let's talk about that in a second while i let me just carry all this stuff away first now if you've watched any of my clean with me vlogs and even like diy vlogs you know how i feel about floor wipes they're just so useful so now I want to clean this section. I feel like I say this every time I use floor wipes. But it's just like, instead of me grabbing them up, I just want to clean this section. So I use the Wilco floor wipes and I feel like a 50p a pack or something, they're so cheap. Um, I, I'm sure there's an American equivalent or anywhere we are in the world, Australian or... Yeah, I'm sure there's an equivalent, but yeah, they're just so useful because it's literally really wet and then you can just wipe this section that you need. So it's just good with regards to, if I now want to put a piece of furniture somewhere, just giving that section a quick clean, if I place the furniture. And by the way, um, this is not the final setup. Um, I'm literally just moving things out of the way and trying to make space on the floor so I can deal with box two. Okay, y'all, so it is three hour 25 minutes since I started this and the start of the hour for the box two. So hopefully I can do box two in one hour. Um, and it's literally just putting together the three drawer inserts. Um, so it should be pretty quick. It's basically 10 steps but I have to do the 10 steps three times. So 30 steps, but hopefully it should be nice and simple. So I've already arranged the furniture as you can see, but I've arranged the pieces. So I wanna start with the, the piece that has this line across right here. Next, you want to take the other long piece. So this is the same one with the line across, but it doesn't have the two holes in the middle, um, like the first piece that we used. Um, and what you're going to do, you're going to attach that to the top here. Okay, y'all, this is why you should not rush, because guess who made a mistake? Um, so literally all the way back to step two. I put the sides the wrong way around. So basically these holes need to be up here. Um, and the only thing that in the instructions, they do point it out as well. But because I was rushing, because I was trying to meet some one hour deadline. Um, and I would do it on an hour and if I did it right. But because I was rushing, I missed it. Okay, this is actually a pretty easy fix. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally take out the side. So I'm going to unscrew this to loosen the back up. So what was it? Left to Lucy. 
Let's just screw it, y'all. Pull it back out. It literally just comes back out. Just flip it around. Um, I'm going to take these bits out. Oh. They're probably in there, though. Okay, so what I want to do is I need to make sure that these holes here um, are aligned with this here. So where the line is. So when you're doing step two, make sure you put the holes where the line is, y'all. Remember the first time I used these? Um, it would have been on my desk actually from August. Unless if I did I no, I did use them for my IKEA wardrobe actually. My not Clepstad, but IKEA Donbass, which was my first IKEA assembly. Um when I first moved to my old flat, my studio flat. Oh yo. I really loved that flat by the way. Apart from all the drama that came with it down the line. But then I loved the space I created. Um and this space is going to be quite different to that. It's similar in some ways because same taste, same person. But this space is going to be quite different. And I'm excited for what happens with this space as well. Okay, so now back to step eight. Do you want to take these bits that were left over from the first box? I've got six of these. And three of them are for the right side and three of them are for the left side. Basically, look at the diagram and try and line it up. You want the wheel to be at the back of it. So if this is where the handle is, you want the wheel to be on the opposite side. So if I do it this way, I can tell that this is the wrong side. Um, so I then need to know, okay, that's for the other side here. And I need to find the wheel that goes at the back here. And then you also want to line up the holes as well so you can screw it in. And you're going to be using these tiny screws over here. Now with these screws, I find it's easier for me to attach it onto the screwdriver and then insert it into the hole. So I have a fully completed drawer insert. Um, oh, that's the back. This is the front, so I quite like the angles, um, and I, I might change it in the future depending on what I do, but I like the black angles, um, it's very in theme with the theme of the room slash, it kind of, it's a nice ease into the kitchen. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to repeat what I did three times, two more times without the mistake. And then once I've got all the inserts, I'm going to set up my new TV stand and dresser. Okay, let me put this down and onto the next. Okay, y'all, so it is like, okay, I didn't time how long it takes, but all three cabinets uh, all three draw inserts are now done. The last two were a lot quicker because I didn't make the same mistakes and I could just do it. Um, so now it's time to put it together. I think first of all, I'm going to move the... I'm so excited, y'all. This looks so good and it's not even done yet. Um, I'm going to move the TV in place because I don't want to move it with the draw inserts in there because it's going to be heavier. Oh, my days, y'all. I love this so much. Okay, now I just need to put the inserts in. Um, oh yo, they look okay. Mm. Okay, I feel like I've done something here. That is not lining up properly. Um, so there's nothing in the instruction, like in the manuals, about like the order that you put the inserts in. So I'm literally just playing around with it to just try and get it to make sense because it's not making sense, as you can see. <laughs> okay, yo, I'm not sure what just happened. Apparently, there must be some kind of order they have to go in. I don't know what that order is because. I just kept moving them around and then it worked. So I don't know. Um, but you know what? It's done. This looks so good. And it's like, I really liked the angles. And I really like the Amazon option. Um, I think I showed it to you guys at the start of this vlog. I really like that option. But I think, first of all, I was slightly worried about the light gray and how that would clash with the dark gray so far. But also, it's just like, I looked at this and I was like, I can use this in a different space. I can change up the handles. I can kind of, I can always do something more with this. So this just has a bit more longe long longevity, longevity, longevity. It's gonna last longer. I feel like I can also I can keep upcycling it. Um, let me put my show back on the tie, right? Um, and I can keep watching it on there. Okay, y'all. I need to clean up. Um, but yeah, y'all. This is like it's assembled. That looks so like if y'all remember how this looked before. If y'all remember the start of this video, this looks so much better. And I like the fact that it kind of fits in with the theme of the. I know the kitchen is kind of a mess right now. I've kind of got stuff on there. Um, but it just kind of fits in with the theme of the room. Um, and I'm planning on doing a gallery wall. So I'm kind of going to do a gallery wall to frame the TV. But yo, I need to, I've moved so much stuff around. <laughs> I need to kind of sort myself out. The good news though is now I've got all of the storage. What I'm going to do is obviously I'll have stuff that stays in there. Like the sky boxes and all that stuff I can put away. But then I'm also going to have storage for like my packages. So instead of just having them lying around, it's just going to look nice and neat. Y'all, I am so happy. Um, if you are putting together this um, 
what's it called this chest of drawers um dresser whatever you want to call it i hope you enjoy it um I look forward to using this in this space. I look forward to upcycling it in the future. I don't know why I'm giving a speech like I just won an Oscar. It's just because, yo, you don't know how long I've been shopping for a TV stand and how long it was it took for me to just find something I liked um, and that I felt like I could use. Oh, actually, I wanted to do the lights as well. So I can. I feel like I want to just finish up, like stuff, take stuff off the list. So now this is done, I'm going to install the last light. Before I do that, let me just actually clean up and then we shall do that um, shortly. Yeah, I found a cassette. I wonder what's on it. I don't even think I have anything that can play a cassette. I need a cassette. I do have a cassette player. It's a cassette player recorder. Do I? I might have one actually. <laughs> it's so weird. But is there anyone? Okay, let me pause this. Is there anyone that doesn't know what a cassette is? Like, is that like I feel like it's weird because you think, like, we have been through so many so much variety of technology like millennials but you think like gen z they must not know what a cassette is like that is there anyone that watches my video that does not know what this is oh, memories i don't know what's on there i'm gonna have to find a way to play it um yo do you remember when i was excited about the gap at the back i think i found a way to use it will it work i need to let me just pause this because i have this aerial well actually if i no because the aerial can't go in the cupboard can it where do people put aerials I was so gassed. I was going to put the aerial in the cupboard and then connect it through the back, but aerial doesn't go in the cupboard. Yo, this is this shows how much I watch. Basically, I feel like I bought this and I have used it twice in the last maybe three years. Only once since I've been in this flat because there was a Hallmark movie that was only on TV that I wanted to watch. And it was a Hallmark mission. It was the one with the, oh my days. I can't remember her name. The one with the black woman. But that's never online for some reason. It's never like on amazon because you know there's amazon prime which has hallmark movies and then there's the hallmark channel add-on that you can get on amazon prime and they never have those for the uk but it was actually on tv so i'm trying to tell y'all basically what am i trying to say i'm tired because i can't put this in the cupboard what was that i can't put this in the cupboard can i so i'm gonna have to never mind <laughs> ignore all of this I need to stop talking to y'all and I just need to focus on putting stuff away and clearing up and then I'll come back when I'm ready to do the lights actually. Oh, ah. Okay, um, in the kitchen and the rest of my flat is looking a bit more human. I will show you two in a bit. Um, and so I need to just sit down and unpack so like all this stuff I've literally just put all my deliveries that I've not opened back into the new dresser or my new tv stand and I'm like why don't I just um, like right now why don't I just um, like so when I bought these I took out one set of chopsticks I've been using them and I didn't unpack the rest so why don't I just unpack stuff and that's what I'm trying to do as I go along now as well let me put these because I want to wash them and then put them away let me put this together I got these from Ikea. It came in a set with like a soap tray and something else. I can't remember what. This is literally, I like the way they gave Ikea instructions as well as how to put it together. But this is literally the quickest Ikea assembly I've ever done, ever. Um, this is for the sink area. So I want to replace having like a branded, um, what's it called? Thingy and just have this there. Because, well, I guess it matches this a bit better. And I think, I think this was from Ikea. My sister got this from me. And I think she got it from Ikea. And now that all of that's done, I'm going to put in the last light. So you can see there's a light here and then there's one in the corner here as well and then i don't know if y'all can see there's another one here let me move the camera back so you can see it actually let me switch off the lights well hey so y'all can't see me but hopefully and you can't see the light over there but hopefully you can see that there's one light there's one quite deep in the corner here so i only kind of set off that motion sensor when i go into the microwave and then there's this one over here as well so basically the plan was okay this is really dark I, I couldn't keep talking like that but you all saw this setup and basically the plan initially was to get one more light in this corner and one more light here so i don't know if you all have seen that vlog if you haven't there'll be an eye i don't know if there's a limit on how many eyes you can put but i promise all the eyes um actually my preview to i might preview to that vlog at the end of this video you know i always do a preview of another vlog at the end of my videos i will preview to that to the vlog of me setting up my under cabinet lighters. So basically these under cabinet lights, you literally just take off the pill and you stick it underneath your 
cabinet and then it's you can set it up to be motion sensor or to be on all the time or motion sensor at night motion sensor during the day and i've actually really been loving it it comes in a pack of four i will leave the link to these in the description box these are the ones i bought and initially i wanted remote control ones but actually now i don't see the purpose of remote control ones because the motion sensor like literally when you get up at night or just when you're washing plate the additional lighting is just so pretty um <laughs> Anyways, y'all, it's literally such a quick install. I'm going to install this one now. It came in a pack of four. So I have four lights installed. There's one over here, one over here, one in this deep corner over here. And then there's one on this side as well. I bought another pack because I wanted to add in two more. But then now that I've been living in it and seeing it, I think the only one I need is one more here. So just above where I wash dishes, um, because that's the only dark spots. So you can see that there's light in here. There's one here and then there's one here. So technically the only dark spot is kind of just this area over here. But yeah, I'm just going to install this one. I've just got some rubbing alcohol um, or some people call it, well, it's called isopropyl alcohol. I literally just got this off Amazon. I'm not sure how much it was, but I will leave a link to it in the description box if you want to check it out. You also use it for like, if you're using command strips. So that's, that's it. That's actually, that's one of the reasons I got this. When I'm using command strips, just to wipe down the surface to make sure it's clean before I put on the command strip. 88 centimeters. 44 centimeters. I'm going to center it here. Okay, so basically it works like a magnet. If you have a metal surface, you can just stick this to the metal surface and it will stay on there like a fridge magnet. But if you don't have a metal surface, like, like the fact that my under cabinet is not metal, um, you want to take off the blue plastic on the back. So you literally want to take that off. And then you want to stick it onto the surface. This is the marker I created for the halfway point. The strip is 10 centimeters long. I'm just going to find 5 centimeters. Okay, that's about right. Give a bit of a gap. And then I'm just going to take the lights, stick it on there, and then it's stuck. And then to switch it on, you just want to long press the button M. Um, and I'm going to set it to the green. Oh, can you all see? And now it's on. It is literally that simple. Okay, so literally, it's like such a quick install. Um, so one last demo so you can see what it's looking like now. Yeah, look at this. Is that one on? Oh, yeah, it is on. Maybe I need two. Do I need two, y'all? This corner here, when all of the lights are on, it looks very bright. But maybe this area just needs a bit more. So maybe if I move this to... Oh, is this even... Maybe I should make it brighter, actually. I don't know. I feel like that corner looks very bright. But it looks like there could be a, more, a bit more light in here. Actually, do you know what, y'all? I think it's fine. Um, maybe I'm just being extra. Let me, leave, let me live with it for a couple of days. See how I feel. I have the extra light if I need it. But let me know what y'all think, y'all. Um, oh, and just so... I don't know if I showed you guys the end results. Well, I kind of did. But I'm just going to show it to you one more time. Because remember how remember how that area, my TV stand area, looked at the start of this vlog. I will to remind you, I'm gonna insert a clip. And now it is looking like this, yo. I need to plug in that wire. Um, but yo, look at this. I'm probably gonna install like a. I'm gonna do like a gallery wall or something around here that frames the TV. Um, the plants are gonna come in. So that's all gonna come in future vlogs. I think for now, I just wanna have all the furniture in place. I need to do one more piece of furniture for the kitchen. Again, that's gonna be a bit of a. It's not a kitchen, it's not a, it's not kitchen furniture, but I'm going to turn it into kitchen furniture. The box that's on the floor there. I need to order a new bookshelf for my bedroom because I'm going to try and do a, instead of a bedside table, I'm going to do a bedside book stand. Um, so watch this space. And then I'm still going to get the radiator covers, y'all. I don't know why I haven't done it, um, but I'm also going to do that. I am so happy right now. This just makes all the difference. And not having stuff lying around, like all of the bits I've had lying around just feels, whew. I need to sit down. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. You'll like have a new TV stand, new TV stand. You'll like have a new, new, new TV stand. Oh yeah. Yo, I am so excited. So, so excited. First of all, I'm excited to be sitting down because my body hurts, but it's just this space just looks so different. It looks so... Like that is so different to how we started. Let me know what you think of me using this dresser as a, as a TV stand. Obviously, there's still boxes in the corner, but then once I put that piece of furniture together, well, I'll buy more furniture that I'll need to put together, but that's a different conversation. I love that. I love the black handles. I just love that. And initially, I was worried about getting white, and that's why I was thinking about the option from Amazon, just because it was something against the white wall. But then I, now when I thought about it, I was like, light grey next to the dark grey might just be a bit too much grey. So that's why I kind of like this, because even though it's all white, the black drawer handles kind of have a bit of an accent to it. And then it works well with the dark TV as well. I also love the fact that the legs are elevated, so it's not smack down on the ground. It just gives it a bit more lift. And it's just nice to not be looking down, because a lot of TV stands are so low. Like a lot of TV stands, the TV will start here. But it's nice to just be able to look and see it like eye level. Like it's a bit above my eye level, but that's just because this sofa is so low. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm so happy. Uh, let me put y'all down.
on that note, I hope you all have enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you want to find out about how to install these lights, I know I kind of tried to do it really quickly, um, and most of it was me talking actually, so the light installation bit is really quick, but if you want to find out how I installed the other ones across my kitchen, how I did all the measurements, um, like I promised, that preview is now going to come up at the end of this vlog. So just wait to the end of the vlog, there'll be a preview, then there'll be like a thumbnail, we'll be able to click through and watch it. I don't know why I'm explaining YouTube to y'all, I'm sure y'all are used to YouTube. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is there'll be a preview to the vlog about how I was basically lighting up my kitchen, y'all. I'm so tired, y'all. And the funny thing is, I'm not even going to bed right now, I have still got the Amazon Fresh delivery so i actually want to pre-chop all my veg and then put it in the fridge chopped so it's easier to cook on the go that is kind of the plan for now even though it's late at night i'm gonna stick on something i'm kind of tired of the hallmark movies now so i might stick on an audiobook or something um and then chop up the veg does anyone do that like is that a thing that people do do you pre-chop your veg as soon as it comes in so it's ready for you to go but yeah yo i am basically going on it's so nice to be sitting down i hope you all have enjoyed this vlog if you did put together the Copang, Ikea Copang, Copang. I don't know how you say it. If you did put together the the chest of drawers, the dresser, aka my TV stand, um, let me know how you found it. I hope this vlog was useful for you. Um, if you didn't, I hope you just enjoy hanging out with me and watching my furniture assembly videos. At this stage, if you haven't subscribed, and I don't think I reintroduced myself once again, um, for those of you who are new to this channel, um, my name is Tommy Lola. Um, it is so nice to have you here. So please subscribe to join the family. Um, like to support, and you know, comment below. The comment section is how we become friends, you know. It's in the song at the start of this video. And yeah, y'all, I think that's it. I'm in a really good mood. Like, this space is coming together and I am so happy. I don't even... And this is the weird thing, like, this is just furniture. It's not even, like, decor. De Obviously, there's some decor pieces and I've started decorating bit by bit. But yeah, I'm so happy and I feel like I literally just was meant to be rounding up this vlog. But I don't know how to round up this vlog because I'm so happy. And on that note, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Jesus loves you. May the spirit of God be with you. Not only am I planning on doing all the things, I am going to do the lighting in the kitchen. My lighting, y'all. Yay. Does it not look so pretty? That's nice. It looks so pretty. Ooh, exciting. Let me switch up the light so you can see.